Hello, today I want to show you a component that we created for our game named Plane Shift, which is an MMO that we are making on Unreal Engine. And uh, this component is a tree view, which looks like this. So it allows you to create a list of objects and then expand and shrink the, the structure. I didn't find anything in Unreal Engine already made and I was struggling a bit on the web to find uh, something that uh, could be used for this purpose. And so I'm going to show you a bit of uh, how to get it and uh, how to install it. So if you want to get it, you can go to our Patreon page, which is uh, patreon.com slash planeshift. And you can support the game with a minimum of $3 and you will get access to, well, actually at the moment with the uh, access to the alpha itself, but also to the components that I'm going to post. At the moment, this one is the first one, but I'm planning to post uh, uh, more components in the page in the future. So to uh, install it uh, uh, is very simple. You just need to create um, a new uh, project, which is derived from a uh, third person project. So you just start uh, Unreal Engine uh, with the editor and uh, from the editor, you are going to select uh, uh, create new project of type uh, game and third person. So these are the selections we want to, uh, to have. And they will create uh, an empty project that you can use then to copy the component. So select games, select third person and name it as you want. I will name it uh, UI uh, 3 view UI 2 or sample and we just get a new project. It is okay to create it as blueprint only. You don't need any C++ for that. So when the project is created it will, um, it will start up. In this case we don't need uh, the editor open yet because we, we have to copy the, uh, the package. But let me just let it start okay at the moment it is just a you know a default standard project so we close it we copy over the package uh, that you will find in uh, uh, in patreon so we just copy it under content and we just overwrite everything at the moment it's made for uh, 425 but uh, it can be adapted also to future versions and then you just uh, uh, start again the project it's important you have your project closed while you copy the data or it will not allow you to do it. And um, and now you can start it up and, and test it. So the structure uh, of the data is very simple. It's something like that. So you have, uh, and I will provide you this file as well. You have a row name with uh, just an incremental number. You have the uh, spell name is just an example of spells. And it is the level. So it is the first the level zero is basically the root. You can have multiple roots and then you have the first level is level one, second level is level two and so on. At the moment, I'm supporting three levels, but you can expand it easily to, uh, to have as many levels as you want. And then this one is, is kind of important because it's changing the icon. And so you need to uh, say if this one is a leaf of our tree. So if, if it's an end item, a final item of the structure, you just put it to one. I did it this way because it's a bit simpler for the algorithm uh, in uh, Unreal Engine to actually determine if it's an end item. So basically speeding up the loading of the tree, uh, you are providing this information up front. Uh, so basically in the blueprint, then you will have inside the person character uh, the creation of the UI tree. I associated to the keyboard key uh, T like three and um, yeah when you pray, press this is creating the new window is doing the setup is adding to the viewport is setting the position and such uh, and so if now we start uh, the um, uh, the game uh, the sample you press t and this is happening right uh, okay so i think that is just what i wanted to show you obviously you can expand it more by adding i don't know icons or other stuff but I think it's a simple enough component to be uh, to be integrated in your game, and I didn't find anything similar on the net um, apart from very very complex three uh, components made in C++, which uh, were a bit too much for uh, for us. Okay, 
So thank you and see you soon. And remember to check our Patreon page uh, at PlaneShift and also PlaneShift.it, which is our main website. The links are below.